Aloha. It is the 12th or the, thir the 13th, Saturday, 13th. On the 10th, just a couple of days ago, this article was um, published. The Israeli Minister of Housing and Construction, Uri Ariel, on Friday expressed his wish to see the construction of a third temple in place of the Al-Aqsa Mosque that is currently occupying the Temple Mount. Anytime you see a picture of Jerusalem, usually there's an imposing building on the Temple Mount, a golden dome. That's a Muslim building. It's a mosque. And that's the precise location for the third temple. The first temple was destroyed in 586 BC, the second in 70 AD. And since that was destroyed in 70 AD, the Jews have been mourning the loss of that temple and they want to rebuild. They're very eager to rebuild it. And so this is the, the, the article that uh, just was just published. They, they've been talking about this a lot. And they want to have the right to practice their faith, their religion. They need that temple. Okay? There's a YouTube video. It's called, What Preparations Are Being Made to Rebuild the Temple? It's only five minutes long. It's an interesting uh, clip. And it shows there that um, every, all the materials, all the instruments, all of the garments, the patterns is already prepared. All they need is the uh, the go ahead from the government. The situation has to be right, and then they're ready to go in and, and build. And when they when they build, they can build it very quickly. You got to remember the Jews are very innovative. They're very progressive. They're very advanced. They're high tech. They're inventors. They got lasers. They got new ways of building. Today you can build a house in a day. It's very possible. The Jews can, they're ready, they're eager. They're just waiting for the, the, the signal. And, and um, there's going to be a lot of uh, um, turmoil that will result from it, but that's, that's too bad. Prophecy demands, biblical prophecy demands that a temple be built because there will be an Antichrist that will stand in a temple. So there has to be a temple. So it's going to happen, and we need to be ready. The Bible strongly suggests, when you read it, it seems consistent throughout the Scriptures. There's going to be a rapture. When that rapture is going to take place, many biblical scholars and uh, church leaders are saying that it will happen before the temple is built. The rapture, the rapture is the catching away the departure of the church, the people, not the building, the people. The rapture will take place before the temple is, is built. So if they're talking about it, and then there's war looming, then we need to get ready. We need to get our lives ready. We need to stop putting it off. We need to repent of our sins according to the biblical plan of salvation in the book of Acts repent we need to get baptized in his name he said he that believes and is baptized shall be saved and he that believes not shall be damned that's what the Bible says it uses a strong word hopefully it will catch our attention we need to be baptized in his name that the only name that is used in baptism in the book of Acts is the name of Jesus no one was ever baptized. You, you'll never find anyone in the Bible who was baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost because there's no three gods. There's only one God, and His name is Jesus. He said He came in His Father's name. We know the name of the Son is Jesus. And we know that where two or three are gathered in His name, there will I be, He said. He said, there will I be in your midst, in their midst. And so Jesus is the Father. Jesus is the name of that we need to have applied to our lives in order to become a part of this great family, this eternal family. The name is what constitutes a family. And so we need that name if we want to be a part 
of this family. If you want to be a, a, a citizen of heaven, we need to be born into this kingdom. That's why the, bo the born again experience is, is not a joke. It's not just something Jesus said and it's not just for people who want to feel good. No, it's, it's if you want to go on the rapture, you need to get baptized in Jesus' name after repenting. If you, if you won't repent, you're not qualified to get baptized because if you, if you don't repent, you haven't died to yourself. And we don't bury dead people. Dead, dead people are not supposed to get buried. They have to die first. And so we must learn repentance. Then we, we get baptized in His name. And then He'll fill us with His Spirit. That makes us ready for the rapture. And the way things are happening now, those people that were left behind uh, during Noah's days, they had 40 days. The Bible says it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. They had 40 days to think about it. They went up on high mountains. They remembered the preaching of Noah. They heard it over and over and over. They didn't respond. There's an old saying that the road to perdition is paved with good intentions. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. I'll do it when Aunt Sally comes or Aunt Lolita from the Philippines comes. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the accepted time. So be ready. Be ready. Be ready. We need to keep an eye on the Middle East. We need to keep an eye on Israel. Israel is God's timepiece. And uh, He's coming real soon. Aloha.